Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can drop multiple tables in a database using for each in Spark Databricks. So essentially, this for each can be used for multiple things, not just for dropping the tables, right? It can be used for absolutely anything. Now, I am just giving an example over here of using a for each to drop multiple tables. So in your case, it can be anything. It can be, you know, let's say, you know, creating a table as well, creating a view, dropping a table, dropping a view. So those kind of things you can actually accomplish using for each loop rather than, uh, you know, uh, dropping individually, right? So I hope that this particular video also helps you in day to day, you know, programming because this is just uh, you know, a helper, you can say a helper video for anybody who works on Databricks on a day to day basis. You do not have to spend too much time Googling because you have all these data points available over here. So let's move on to the portal and see exactly how we can do that. So if you see over here, I am writing this code in Scala. If you want, you can move it to Python as well, right? And already you know about the magic commands, which you can utilize to write even Scala code inside, uh, you know, the Python notebook as well, right? So the very first thing is you, I have to import, you know, the library. So for that, I'm importing it from, you know, org.apache.spark and I'm importing all, all the libraries over here. And then I have a database over here. So if you see, if I go to my database, uh, database, I have an overwatch underscore ETL. I have these tables present over here, right? Now I want to, what I want to do is I want to delete these tables, right? Now, the very first thing is, let me just say, okay, this is my database. I'm just, uh, you know, writing that, okay, this is my database. And let me just see what are the tables present inside my database. So for that, I'm just doing a show table command. Right, I'm saying display spark.sql show tables from the database that I have described above. So now you can see that it has six uh, uh, tables, right? Now to delete those tables, first what I've tried to do over here is I've provided a list of tables that I want to delete. Now remember this can be done programmatically again. Command 3 can also be done programmatically. I will make a video on this as well. Write me in the comment section if you want me to make video on this as well now once you have the list of the tables right once you have this list what you can do is now let me just run this particular command so you can see that you have a list of string right list of string and inside that list you have all these tables now all these tables are present now if you see tables underscore list right these are the tables and i am using dot for each so for each value which is present inside that table list that value becomes a table and this table what do you have to do with this table you have to run this command of spark.sql using spark.sql api you have to run the command that drop view if exists write db dot name now what is this table this table is nothing but the table which is present in this list right so now if i run this particular command let's see how does it work so now you can see uh, what does it say okay is a table so it is not a view so let me write it as a table t a b l e and then let me execute it so now you will actually see that it has started performing the operation of drop and it is saying cannot drop a view with drop table please drop view instead so there might be one or two views present over there so that is why it gave this particular error so now even to debug this we can actually see you know a lot of things so i can uh, you know normally say over here that let me say print and I can add a table over here. So now it will give me, you know, uh, the table as well. So now you can actually see that it printed two tables, right? Uh, how many tables did it print? It print one, it printed two, right? Three, four and five. It printed actually five tables. So it has already iterated for the five tables and one is not a table, one is a view. So that is why it is giving this error, but that's completely fine. So now let me just, see how many tables are actually present in this particular db right so now if you uh, see this command 5 there is only one table which is present pip report now this might be a view that is why it is showing like this now let me just copy this name from uh, just let me put view over here now essentially what happens over here if you see i have run this particular command right now the moment i ran this command 
uh, one was view right now you can see that it has also run now if I rerun this command you can actually see that uh, you know there are no tables present now query returned no results why did this happen this happened because this particular for each command it went it iterated and it dropped all the tables now inside that for each if you want to put a condition that okay uh, you know any kind of condition you can put that if you want to say create table you know create delta table create this do that you can do everything inside this for each right so i hope you understood you know the logic behind this you understood uh, you know in detail what happened here right now also you can see that overwatch underscore etl there, there are no tables present right now this particular database is created through overwatch now overwatch is a different concept again in the databricks it is a you know a special library which is used to do multiple things now this overwatch etl was an auto created uh, database through a script which i might talk about in my you know upcoming videos do let me know in the comment section if you want me to make video on overwatch in databricks i will make that as well so I hope uh, you like this particular video and do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts and you need any kind of clarification. But do remember to subscribe to my channel and share my channel as much as possible. So thank you so much for being till here.